Hello readers, I'm the Avid Reader and today we're reviewing The Thomas Sowell Reader, written by Thomas Sowell in 2011. So this is a 400 page book. It's a collection of short essays which have been collected from previous columns that Thomas Sowell has written and there's also sections from previous books he has written that are included here. So you have extracts here from Applied Economics, Intellectuals in Society, Basic Economics, Vision of the Anointed, On Classical Economics, Arxism, Philosophy and Economics, Migrations and Cultures, and Conquests and Cultures. There's one original essay in this book, and then most of the stuff I think it's from his columns. This is a perfect summary of all of Thomas Sowell's ideas, at least up to 2011. And he splits this book up into sections. So there's a section on social issues, a section on economics, section on political issues, a section on legal issues, a section on race and ethnicity, a section on educational issues, and then he finishes up the book with some biographical sketches of his life and also some random thoughts. So just these one paragraphs which are interesting thoughts he has had. Most of these essays that are included here, they're just two or three pages. I'm not gonna talk about so much of the content of this book because he covers so much. I mean, I've reviewed eight Thomas Sowell books so far, and a lot of the ideas in those books are all summed up perfectly in this book. So a chapter which is maybe 30 pages in one of his previous books, it is well summed up here in a couple of pages. But he does have some longer essays. So there's an essay on Karl Marx, which talks about the life of Karl Marx, and how he was someone who's constantly in debt and lived off other people. There's also a longer essay about affirmative action around the world. There's a longer essay also on the pattern of the anointed. So you have three stages here. So the first stage is that the anointed think, oh, this is a crisis. Often it's not this crisis. It's something that's been improving actually. Then they come up with their solution, which they believe will solve the problem. Often it solves nothing. And then you have the results where the problem is worse and you have other unintended consequences. And then they go back to the crisis and this cycle repeats of crisis, solution, results, crisis, solution, results. He also focuses a bit on Booker T. Washington, who was a black former slave in the late 19th century to beginning of 20th century, who believed that the best way to improve the situation of African Americans was for them to get a better education, for them to get vocational skills, instead of having them emphasizing their rights and being activists. Thomas Sowell talks about the different approach of Booker T. Washington, which focuses on education versus W.E.B. Du Bois, which focuses on activism. There's a couple of pages in this book uh, where Thomas Sowell praises Reagan, and if you look at the results, then Ronald Reagan was a good president, according to Thomas Sowell. And those are just some of the ideas that Thomas Sowell brings up in this book. There are plenty of other ideas in this book, but there's so many of them, I don't know what to pick. I mean, seriously, there are dozens of short essays in this book. So if you ever wanted an introduction to Thomas Sowell, you should definitely read the Thomas Sowell Reader. And if you find a topic in this book you want to delve deeper in, then you can look at the book where the extract was taken from by Thomas Sowell. So how would I rate the Thomas Sowell Reader? I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I don't agree with everything in this book, but Thomas Sowell argues very well. Of course, he has a bunch of footnotes. And if you wanna understand the essence of Thomas Sowell's ideas on a variety of topics, including gun control, then you should check out the Thomas Sowell Reader. This was a, for the most part a fun read for me because you cover a wide range of topics in this book. Some of the topics that are covered here include, for example, autism, abortion, minimum wage, and also Thomas Sowell delves into different interesting educational issues, such as what is a good teacher actually, and are good teachers rewarded. So overall, an amazing book by Thomas Sowell. And you also get the personality of Thomas Sowell towards the end of the book with his random thoughts that he talks about. Also a mini biography, which you have towards the end of the book. So I definitely recommend the Thomas Sowell Reader if you're interested in learning about Thomas Sowell or economics in general. Anyways, if you enjoyed this book review and you want to learn more about Thomas Sowell, then I would recommend you to check out my book review of Knowledge and Decisions, which is the book by Thomas Sowell that deserves a Nobel Prize in economics. Anyways, I'm the Avid Reader and I will see you readers next time.